So, spawning here at the bottom of West Bowl, gonna be the red Alvin player, May Shadow Fax, and his opponent on the top side. Gonna be also the red, well, the red collar, the red Angmar player, Maru. Again, with the colors on this one, pretty awful here <laughs> to cast. But we'll see what happens. Hey, Eternal in the house, what's up? Welcome. Hall start here out of Maru. Actually, Hall first, it looks like. Uh, barracks first as well. Or May Shadow back. So both are going barracks openers. Swords first. Or May Shadow Facts. See what the Thrall Master is going to do here. Is he going for the, the rush or the lair? Take a look here. Going to be also positioning the builders across the map here for some more resources. Going to be heading straight out to Midlawn second and Pikes for Maru. I'm going to go for that Warg Lair. So, um, hmm. Maybe my Shadow Facts will find some damage here. As, uh, let's see here. Yeah, only, well, he's out now, but is he going to be, what's he going to be up to here? Yeah, he's going to be warping in here. He should maybe be fine-ish. Potentially able to defend that. Mythlon's also going for the Wargs. All right, both players are going to be taking their lairs. Going to be buffing up here. We'll take that mill down pretty easily. We'll be fighting these as well. They should win out pretty pretty decently right now but it's two versus one he's gonna be war chanting as well to try and deal with that looks like mythons did come in here they will be hmm, they might be actually interrupted here in the meantime by these hillmen rudar spearmen will they get it no they will not just barely not gonna yoink that from him the sword's actually winning out there just barely. Mm -hmm. Then five times to install arena. Yeah, can you also play with friends or only match? But you can do both. There's free play as well. So free play, basically, you can play. It's like a private lobby. Well, you can make it private. Password and everything. Or just play with uh, whoever. Uh, whoever is playing there as well. So you can do both. Definitely something you can do. And uh, what do we have going on here? Mm, looks like uh, I'm going to be defending here at the top side. I'm going to go way up here. It's so difficult to tell the colors apart on the map. Kind of annoying. Both a shade of red. I guess light red. is a little bit... Uh, well, it's definitely an issue to take a look at that. Light red against kind of I don't know I wish you can kind of tell the difference on the mini map but barely what do we have up here yeah going for the lair again so command point wise it's 500 for elves right now 500 for Angmar dead even cleaning up in the meantime big army for Angmar going to be assembling here in front Alvin player just going to deal with that in the bad battalion what's their tech looking like double racks for elves and uh double racks oh there we go temple of twilight coming up for maru gotta love to see that gonna go with the sorcerer plays and uh he will take this top lair pretty easily big fighter in the middle Looks like Angmar definitely has uh, the advantage here. Gonna force Elven player back for now. Has to regroup. More reinforcements. Archer's gonna deal with some units down here in the meantime. Bad's gonna be sneaking in. Mar going for the attack. But can this do anything? They both have buffs available. But not gonna be using them. Yet. Gonna be heading down here, Haldir out for me. Shadow Facts, quick Haldir, good. Gonna be good here. He is in sword mode though, which is interesting. 
Gotta go into that bow mode, get some levels going. Hey, what's up, my shadow fact? Good to see you. How are you? Are you getting better with the sickness? Whatever it is. Is it better now? Hopefully it's not uh not too bad anymore. The sorcerer is now coming out. Let's see, what does he have? He does have soul freeze. All the basic ones as well. Mm -hmm. Still headaches, yeah. That might be from playing as well. Playing for <laughs> however long you played yesterday for like eight hours straight. Probably from that as well. Ooh, how they're gonna get sucked in here and we'll be taken out by the fell wind. Nice play there to take out Haldir really quickly. That's gonna force Mage out of Facts back. Sorcerer is buffing and debuffing as well in the background, and that's a pretty decent fight here for Maru. Hey, Abyssians, welcome. Good to see you as well. Alright, Maru on the attack now. He has a massive army right now. 700 command points for elves, 800 Stop! for Angbar. You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. He's violating the law. Can't go sorcerers. Mr. Smock in the house. Noldar. Yeah, Noldar are good. Ooh, going for the big attack here, though. Gotta commit onto kind of the front of the fort here. Decent positioning for my shadow facts over here, though. Not gonna be able to get close to that yet. Haldir back out on the field, and I don't know what this is. He's kind of just attacking all over the place, attacking the fort, attacking the racks. Not very uh, committed on anything. So this is not going to work out. Will be uh, contested here. Looks like we have something going up here on the fort. Looks like House of Healing. Or whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. Uh, and uh, triple racks for me, Shadow Facts, in the meantime. So he's going to be producing a lot. What is Angmar up to? Level 2? No, no level 2 yet on that. But he does have a level 3. All. For Dark Rangers, Waldar. Out in the field. Going to be using some slow here. To try to deal with Haldir. But he will get on out. Going to be healing up. Mirror of Galadriel, something like that. Da, 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 da. We're on the move. And Waldar is out on the field now. Command point wise, it's 750 for Elves and uh, 850 for Angmar. So pretty, pretty, pretty standard stuff here. No one's really winning or losing at the moment. Pretty even, as all things shall be, or should be. Signal fire captured at the bottom. More sorcerers. Is he getting level 2 yet on this? Mm, no. Not leveling up yet. Yeah, this is why I started with this game. It's like super, super meme game with a lot of action. Gonna be a good one. Alright, Elven player. We're treating back. Getting level 2 now. For some, or level 3. For some Noldor. Noldor warriors. He's going to sell his troops, selling off some Lorians. For... I don't know. For money? For Noldar, I guess. Going to be selling them off real quick. Uh, Angmar player Mar, though, has a big force here and might be a little bit scary. He sold off like half of his army while this is happening. So he's going to be taking some damage. And Haldir level 2. I'm going to be able to chip away a little bit here. Black Morgamir is out as well for Angmar. Has to retreat on out. Oh, the, all the slows are actually so good here. We'll take out Haldir. Nice play with all the slows. Using the frozen land as well. Absolutely devastating error that slow. And all our warriors are finally out. Should be able to defend here. Morgamir gonna be on top of them. Gonna be Morgul blading one of them. White's gonna spawn. And Morgamir actually is able to duel with them. But there's two of them out now. So two of them should be able to win against him. 
He's trying to get something done, but they're going to be forced back here. Uh, Noldar Warrior is actually looking pretty good. Right now, I'm going to be able to... Ooh, going to be able to suck them in right now. But is it going to be enough? They are pretty tanky, pretty beastly. Giga Chads. Not going to be able to take them out that easily. 1200 cost. But how, what is their stats looking like? 600 HP, 240 range damage, and 40 magic. Uh, way better in ranged, actually, than melee. Movement speed, bow range, 450. Yeah, they're just way better at range than melee. Which makes sense. Triple Noldar Battalions. Gotta love to see it. Able to defend. He didn't have these Noldars. He might have been quite in a lot of trouble. Shanks in the house, welcome. Hey, Paul Craft as well. Good to see you guys in here. Welcome back in. Dark Rangers are out for Maru, though, and Rogash. Some Greenland action. I like the slows here by the Sorcerers. Actually, pretty good. Slowing down the Nold. Ooh. While they're getting wrecked. Yep, he'll be picked off as well. Nice there by me. Shadowfax will target fire him down. Switching into bow. Seems like they do pretty good in melee against heroes. Then uh, with bow mode, they're good against everything else. The spam. It's ignoring the house. Hey there, welcome. Good to have you in. Alright, Rogash is on the field. Let's see, does he have... Uh... Oh, he's getting level 2 now. Twilight. Finally gonna get that. Karsh out on the field. Command point wise, it's 975 for Elves and 1000 for Angmar. Still pretty even. Uh, Mesh Artifacts looking pretty good here with the Noldar. Three Noldar Battalions leveling up the Forge. So it shouldn't be too, too bad here. Even though he might lose a few trees, but it shouldn't do too much. I'm doing pretty good, just starting with a nice super meme game. Blight gonna be used here, and the Noldar Warriors are blighted down, and Blight is a little bit too OP at the moment. Somehow killing the Nold, all the Noldar Warriors, which is absolutely kind of stupid. It shouldn't be that strong. How much damage does this do? It's like unlimited damage. Doesn't really even say. Basically one shots everything on the map. Apparently. Uh, one shotting all the Noldar Warriors, even with a heal. Even with the heal being used. Which shouldn't happen. Uh, I think heal should remove poison. Why doesn't heal not remove poison? Isn't heal, heal supposed to remove poison, isn't it? That doesn't make any sense. Why doesn't it not remove blight? Poison. Yeah, all the Noldars went down there. That's actually quite bad now. Looking not too good now for Elves. He does have some Lancers out. Noldar, one Battalion back out. Two of them back out, actually. So he had definitely a lot of Eco. Yeah, he also was supposed to get rid of Blight Poison, but it's not. Not getting rid of it. For some reason. Morgan are gonna get focused down. Karsh is here though in the meantime, but he will not be able to deal with both of them. Ooh, gonna be Fell winning them in again. They might go down again. It's gonna be looking a little bit rough. Nice slows here. Rogash going in. But they are super slowed right now. They will be taken out one by one. As they cannot get away. One of them will get away. But he cannot regenerate too much. 
Lancer's no. going to be trying to go for the Sorcerers, which they will pick off here in the back. So not too, too bad. And at the moment, still trying to stabilize here. Just getting more and more Noldar warriors out as much as he can. Level 3 Forge here as well. He does have that House of Healing on the fort, so he's going to be able to recuperate those. Oh, going to be going for the Eagle Summon as well to try to take out Rogash. Might lose some Noldars, though. They are super slow right now. Will they get out of here? One of them might live. Oh, nope. They did go... What? Is this one alive? I can't tell. I, don't, I think he's dead. I think he might have lost one there. He still has two on the field. Rogash is going to be targeted down by the Eagles. And looks like Mishad Fact trying to find some damage here with the, with the Lancers. They are upgraded with armor. Looks like Rogash might live here. Morgamere might... No, uh, he's not going to focus him down. Will run into here. Go for the Sorcerers. That's a lot of Sorcerers here that he's going to pick off. These guys are 400 a pop. So, not cheap. Ooh. That was like 1,200 resources gone. Just like that. Yeah, Angmar, I think, is getting nerfed, so... Angmar should be getting nerfed. I think their win rate's, like, insane right now, like 70, 80% or something. With that blight. The one shot blight. Blight is basically rain of fire for Mordor, but it's 15 power point. Which is insane. Alright, what do we have here? Mishara Fax trying to stabilize. Witch King out for Mar. That's gonna be pretty nice. He has all the heroes out right now. Morgan Mare's level 6, leveling up nicely. Rogash level 3. Uh, Mage Artifacts has Noldars, a lot of them, all three of them. Ooh, nice corpse rain, though. Gonna be dealing a bit of damage to the buildings. That's something. Also, that's kind of new. This version deals damage to buildings. Almost taking out that tree. Dealt quite a bit of damage. But uh, he's going to be cleaned up here. Forced back. <laughs> Eagles ate them down. My shot effects will never leave uh, <laughs> BFME. He's stuck here. Stuck in the BFME hell. Witch King. Gonna be chasing down those Lancers. And uh, looks like game kind of stabilizing a bit here. 900 command points to 1,000. Still pretty even. And uh, Welcome, Zig216. Welcome, Zig. Appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Good to have you here. Ooh, upgrades for elves now. Fully upgraded here. Mithlons, heavy armor, forged blades. Uh, a lot of sorcerers here for Maru, though. He's going to be committing with the corpse rain, probably. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, oh, oh my goodness, the damage on that is pretty mass. Holy! Going to take out a level 3 Rax, just like that. With that corpse rain. Hey, corpse rain is the new siege unit for Angmar. Screw the troll stone thrower garbage. Just go mass... Sorcerer Corpse Rain or Siege. Just one shot of Rax, level three Rax, but he had like three, three of these guys, so three Corpse Rains. And definitely will take that out. How much damage does this do? Target Rain, doesn't really say. Fear Radius, Poison Duration. I not say how much damage it does to the building, though. Lancer's finding some nice damage, however, in the meantime. Level 3, Forge. Up for Angmar. They're only kind of running around here. Command point-wise, 935, 600. Holy! 
those lancers did find find a ton of damage actually 500 command points is actually like these lancers are winning me shadow facts the game the and the pikes here in the back death. Ooh. Rain, rain death rain holy death. look at that damage rain Move. death upon them it's pretty nice damage I like the new sorcerers. Almost taking out level 3 forge. How much HP does this? 6,000? He's going to take it out. Boom. No more upgrades for my shadow facts. Ooh, nice trample from the back. Will stop the blight. Going to be used here. They're pretty much gone now. Nothing can live the blight. It's rain of fire. Has a 15 power point. And uh, we'll be committing here. Sorcerers try to deal with some mid lawns. Will kind of not really work out. <laughs> Spamming that on them. Not gonna, not gonna really help you out there. Spamming it. Uh, oh gosh, level five. Actually pushing in here quite nicely. Ice arrows. Taking out all the production for the most part. Upgrades are going to be denied. As well. So again, that level 10 does 2,000 damage. Damn. Rogash. Green lands. Uh, Going to be pushing in here, but I mean... 900 command points to 675 problem is Angmar, Mari's not dealing any economical damage at all. Death. Well, my shadow fax is the host has connected to the dealing. Feed. Appreciate the host. Welcome, Ghost Boy. Appreciate that a lot. Ghost Boy Thick Hasper arrived with 20 reinforcements. Hell yeah, 20 reinforcements. Welcome in, guys. Casting some replays here. This one's a pretty meme game. A long meme game. Trim my shadow fax and uh, Maru. Pretty, there will be no good. dawn for men. There will be no dawn for men. Hi, hi, everyone. Welcome in. So what do we have so far? Michelle Fax definitely finding a lot of damage with the eagle now as well. Going to be starving out Angmar quite nicely again. Uh, let's take a look here. 1,000 command points for Michelle Fax. 650 only for Mars. So finding a ton of damage. And Mara not getting any damage done right now. Now he's maybe tr gonna try to contest. Play some 4v4 arena games. Success. Nice. It's working out. Ghost Boy, the number one 4v4 player. <laughs> Almost 25 PP. Oh, yeah. He does have 25 here. Avalanche. The Eagles, though, are just. Destroying everything. Eagle summon with the normal eagle. Flying around. And uh, he does have that avalanche. Upgraded fort. Morgamir back out. Dark Rangers. A lot of them right now. Looks like dealing with the top side. Trying to defend his eco a bit here. But uh, they don't really do too much damage to those heroes. Trying to take out Karsh, looks like. Level 7 already, by the way. Level 7 Karsh. Ooh, gonna be war chanting here. Will it work out, though? The Eagles are still not going down. The summon will go down, however. Arrow volley gonna be used on... Not much. Gonna hurt some units here. Eagle will be getting away. 1,000 command points still to 800 now. Maru catching up back up. Has that avalanche, which I, I guess there's really not, not much you can use it on in terms of dealing. Damn, he's going to use it up here, actually, on top of the elven army, taking out the Noldars. Uh, Legola is going to live, though. Or now. Ooh, going to put a stop to him, though. Going to fell win. Is he going to get away now? Ooh, he stopped move commanding. Yeah, it's going to be taken out now. That stopped him from moving. We'll be losing a Lego. And uh, gonna commit Avalanche on that though. But he did take out all the Noldars. Ran up here now. Eagle gonna be in trouble. 
line into something scary. They are buffed up by Morgamir. Damage and armor. Uh, Thran. Thranduil's gonna be uh, taken out as well. He's a white now. Thranduil the white. Not gonna be paying attention to the heroes. Losing all the heroes. Uh, he does have all these lancers still out on the map. Doing some nice damage. Finding some damage. But tower gonna be... Gonna be a tower. I won't care about that. Ooh, these rangers are out of position though. Just some rangers chilling here. It will be cleaned up. And I don't really want to lose those nice juicy rangers just like that. No defenses for them. What do we have here? Forge still. Similar stuff. Lancer's kind of running around. Take a look at command points. 850 for elves right now. 750 for Angmar. Okay, back to evening out again. Level 6 Rogash. Level 8 Morgamir already. And Karsh is level 8. Legolas is back out. Has to retreat back. Uh, yeah, Morgan Mayo's highest ability is not level 10 anymore. It's level 8. Ruin. 3,000 damage. He's buffed a little bit. Lego's got to get on out of there. Charge, ya fools. Let's go in here. Rogash. He's level 7 for that lightsaber mode. Purple lightsaber. Uh, I'm already doing a good job leveling his heroes. I'm not sure about my shadow facts though. Legolas is level 2 right now. And Thranduil's dead. Does he... Uh, his eagle is level 3. Yeah, Mar doing a way better job here at leveling all the heroes. Shadow facts doing a good job at harassing the eco. Getting himself into the game from the start. The rough start. Mm -hmm. 4500 don't know what any of the angmar heroes do they uh <laughs> they stab you and kill you uh the Rorgash can leap he can leap like gimli he can also turn his lightsaber mode on deal a bunch of damage 100 damage and armor it's pretty good uh, Karsh basically can blink. He can blink to a location, dealing damage. He can also backstab. 3,000 plus 1,000 damage. A lot of damage. He's basically like an assassin. And he also has a, a debuff where enemies suffer 33% speed and slight damage over time. So he slows. He's really good. It's really good against like spam of like goblins and stuff because this actually kills goblins passively around him or orcs or whatever anything that's weak and the slow is super nice too you can catch units so angmar is really good and uh morgamir can cripple people with morgul blade he has a buff it gives, it gives everyone damage and armor. And he can also one-shot buildings, pretty much. And he has a debuff, which is not... Uh, it's a little bit bugged as a tooltip right now, but it's going to be fixed. I already reported that one. It's already fixed in the next one. But that, that's going to be, like, debuff as well. I don't know what the Dread Visions does. I think it's... Minus 25%. Something around him statues going up for like crazy by my shadow facts that's gonna reduce cost of infantry and stuff like that infantry costs minus 28 percent now for elves so trying to get some cheaper infantry going eagles level four command points 1000 to 750 my shadow facts looking pretty good uh angmar camping it out both of them are kind of just camping it out waiting for tree beard to uh, head in. So 
Squishy 750. Uh, Mar going for the wall memes. <laughs> Gonna be wall spamming. To make it an interesting game. But Treebeard's here already. We'll be going for the mills. How much damage does Treebeard do? 660 range damage. 1000 crush damage. Rock splash damage. Rock throw range. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, gonna be... Freezing himself in the meantime. Or now. I don't know... <laughs> Do you want to freeze yourself right there? Eagles builder, not the builder. Noldar's gonna be focusing down everything in sight. Big battle here. What's he even fighting here? I don't even know. Oh, how dear. Oh my goodness. A bit of an overkill, but he's gonna use that fort power to absolutely destroy all the Noldar's. Lagolas gonna be going down as well. He's gonna be going down. Ants are gonna be maybe trouble. Lightsaber mode Rogash activated. We'll be dealing a ton of damage. How much damage is he doing now? 657 damage. Uh, looks like it kind of evened out a bit here. Not really anyone coming out on top. Kind of both wiped each other out a bit. But it stopped the siege. From continuing. Even a little postern gate here. No, um... No catapults yet on the walls. Anywhere. And, oh, the blight's gonna be used here. Just blood as well gonna be committing here. We'll take out... To a Rax and that Twilight, but these guys are gonna be goners really quickly. Blight even kills fully upgraded units pretty easily as well, it seems like. Uh, we'll delete them from the game. The so armor doesn't even do anything against Blight. Noldars are back in town. Misha Fax really loves his Noldars, always gets them back right away. Angmar looking a little bit down and out right now. <laughs> He's just kind of chilling out. Uh, losing a ton. Mm -hmm. Walls will be focused down. Command points 1,000 to 900. 1,000 command or supply for elves right now. Only 500 for Angmar, so elves double the army value right now. Snow trolls, but she's he's gonna be getting them, I guess, now. Getting that troll and wolf done. Gonna be a little bit late to the party. Treebeard up here now. There's also a whole wall up here to defend. But he's gonna just ignore the wall. Go for the tower. Little oh, gosh. The hero squad. No witch king. I don't know where witch king went. Ooh, nice leap. We'll take out a few of these Noldars. Should be able to get on out. Oh, gosh. Pull back. Greenland. Are they going to be running away again? This is such a kind of crappy army for Angmar. Such a scrappy, low-tier army. Just a bunch of heroes. Troll and Wolf Den is out. Treebeard running for his life. And Elves going to be pushing out. My Shadow Facts going for the double Eds here. Noldars will be focusing down the Katas here on the wall. Deal quite a lot of damage to them. And surprisingly, they tickle the Noldars as well. Not gonna deal too much damage. Big fight here. Trying to level up all the heroes uh, as much as he can. Level 9 Karsh, though. And 
uh, ooh. All right, could be kind of contesting the middle here, not really getting much. And it's going down. Bit of a stalemate. They got a bit of damage here and there. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what Mars doing here. Kind of maybe trolling a bit with the walls. But they do seem to be kind of working out a little bit because they're kind of stopping the siege from accomplishing anything. Kind of holding on. Mm -hmm. Can I cast that one? Uh, which one? Or how long was it? I might get to that. Hmm. Uh, got Glorfindel out. Ooh, Avalanche gonna be committed again on top of the army. We'll take it all, all out once again. So, using Avalanche is just on the army. Glorfindel might be taken out here. Gonna be chased. Ooh, nice slow on the frozen land. He will be taken out by Morgamir. Potentially here. Oh, he's gonna be healed by the fort. Is he gonna get him? Arwen's out. Oh, he's not gonna get him. Morgamir might go down now. Elrond and Arwen. And Legolas have joined and they will take him out. There goes his crown. And he's gone. Gone from these lands. Rogash getting super low as well, getting focused down. Builder, not the builder. Rip the builder. Sounds like, like, looks like Rogash will get on out. Arrow volley gonna be used here, will connect. And finally, it will do something. For once. Treebeard. The Lancers are still finding some nice damage here. 1000 command points to 850. Doggo. Is available for Maru though. Summon Doggo, the wolf, the big bad wolf. Arwen going down. Karsh, Whisper of Death. One shotted. And will retreat. Snow trolls are out on the field. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both players have pretty nice banks right now as well. 3k. Snow Trolls. Getting full upgrades. The Builder. Not the Builder. Builder's gonna be taken out. Mm -hmm. 17th of April. I don't think it... Uh, I don't think it goes that far back. Pretty sure the replays don't go that far back. They're like deleted. At least on the website. For some reason the website like deletes all the replays like super fast. It's only like two days or something that it saves. Big bad wolf is out. Gonna be defending with the big bad wolf. It looks like trying to clean up all the ends. We'll be heading down here. What's he up to? Where's he going for? Oh, he's going for the other ends. Ooh, the ends going flying. The big bad wolf doesn't care. It doesn't care if it's an ant, if it's a gimli, if it's anything. He's going to absolutely just knock everyone across the map. Maybe even knock Sauron himself across the map. He is the, he's the true, the true power of uh, Middle Earth. <laughs> Replays need storage. I mean, they're not that big. They're like. They're pretty tiny. Size. Green lands. That's a still even ish game, it looks like. Bag at four. That's a lot of elves, though, fully upgraded coming in. Is he maxed out? Yeah, pretty much. Fully maxed. Angmar's looking a little rough though. 640 command points. Ooh, Blight gonna be used here. Let's take a look how much damage is gonna do. The Noldar warriors are getting annihilated. That does way too much damage. How overtuned is that? Holy. 
That should not be that strong. I'm telling you, that's Reign of Fire. But a 15 power point. Literally the same damage. As Mordor's Reign of Fire. 25 power point. Absolutely melts everything. Even Noldars are going down to that. How much HP does a Noldar? 600? They got melted by that. Going in though, Angmar. We'll be finding a Malorn tree or two. But the Eagle is here. He will be able to defend Rogesh level 9. Harsh level 10. While they're level 10. Where's Morgamir out? Did Morgamir go down? Maybe. Gonna be trying to go for that level 3, but it looks like they probably will be cleaned up here. Rogash going in with that lightsaber. Ooh, nice. Even taking out that tree with that leap. Alright, gonna go for the slow, trying to take out some more Noldar warriors that just came out and will be able to take them out. But he will be going down in the end. Car's trying to get Legolas at the moment. Does he have... He has Whisper of Death. Ooh, he's not going to use Whisper of Death, sadly. Could have potentially taken him out while they're going down. That looks like a cleanup. And at the moment, seems like it's stabilizing a bit. Again, reset, another reset. Very low levels for me. Shadow Facts here. Level 1 Elrond, level 4 Glorf. Level 5 Legolas at least. Level 3 Haldir and level 1 Thran. Behind on levels. Uh, these trebs here are still proving to be quite nice for the defense. Gonna prevent any attack from the middle for a while. Eagle gonna go down by all of those rangers. Angmar money at the moment is only 1,000. He's pretty poor. Ooh, Flood's gonna be used here on the dark rangers. Take it out. Two or three battalions. Will clean up. He's pretty poor. 2k. You have 7k in the bank. And you're also maxed out 1,000. He's only 300 supply, so he's struggling. He's poor, dirt poor. Zero money. Spent it all on the trebs at the front. And he's kind of starving it out now for sure. Builda will be losing that. Yeah, both of these factions are the poor factions. They don't have any eco. Elves have nowhere to get more eco, and Angmar doesn't have any way of getting more. Super poor factions. I think they're the only two factions, right, that are poor. Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure they are. They can't get any eco. And Bombadil gonna be used here. To try and deal with the rest of these forces. Treebeard still in here. Legolas running. Level 5. Looks like kind of struggling now. This might be a pretty, pretty good attack. Let's see what does he have. What does he have right now? Nothing is really up. No blight. Doggo. Avalanche. Doesn't really have much to really deal with this. This might be it. I think this might be game. May Shadow Facts here at the bottom. Also sieging from both sides. What is Angmar doing right now? <laughs> AFK. I think he's dead. I think it's over. The end has come. Just gonna take out the forward. Does he have this? No, he doesn't even have Winter's Wrath. Yep, GG.